This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. Yesterday, we talked about how your product needed to have gravity. Today, I'm going to tell you how to create gravity for your product. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody. Good morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, and we are here to help you start growing. Enjoy the benefits. Owning your own business. Hope you guys had a terrific Tuesday. Now it's time for Wednesday. Here comes the office assistant in the door. There she is. Uh, listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, either way, I still like to know who is here. So do what Joe and Cliff have done. Leave a quick note, a thumbs up, a uh, question, whatever you want to. Just drop something in the comments so that the whole gang knows that you are here. And I do appreciate Joe and Cliff being here so early and jumping in the conversation. If you're listening on your favorite podcast catcher, watching on YouTube, listening on SoundCloud, or maybe tune in, be sure at some point to head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com so you can leave said comment and join said conversation. All right, so yesterday we were talking about gravity and how your product needs to have gravity. It needs to attract customers to it rather than you having to push your product on people. All right. So we talked about that. And uh, the homework walking away from yesterday was as you move through your day, as you touch or think about each one of your products or services, just ask yourself, does this product have gravity? So today I want to talk about, okay, Now I know I need gravity, smart guy. How do I create it? Well, simple. You put some spinning rings around the outside of the spaceship and that, no, that, 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 okay. They're, they're telling me over here that that's not going to work. So we'll have to do something different. The same principle applies though, right? If in in order to create gravity, something with a greater mass has greater va- uh, gravity, right? So if you watch any sci-fi or know any science, you know something, a planet like Jupiter will have greater gravity than Earth because it's bigger. It has more mass, so it attracts more strongly. You know how some magnets, you know, like the little black refrigerator magnets, they stick and they pop off and they stick and they pop off. Sometimes they fall off on the floor, but you get one of those rare earth magnets and, you know, don't get your finger in between that magnet and the fridge because it'll snap that jewel off of there, right? Greater gravity. That's magnetism, but the same principle applies. Okay. So when we're thinking about our product, how do we create gravity for a product? It's simple. Yeah. Business physics. I like that. That's a good one, Joe. You might have to stick with that. our, our thought for the week is business physics. Um, so to create gravity for your product, you have to give it more mass, right? Now, it doesn't mean you have to make it bigger, but now I will, I wish I had one sitting here. We have, we've all seen these, these products that we can buy in the store that they're in a great big box, great big package. You cut through all the packaging and it's this teeny tiny little thing, right? That's actually an example of how they are trying to add literal physical mass. <laughs> um, not the value type mass, but literal mass to the product to make it feel more valuable. In, in marketing, especially in network marketing um, or product marketing, you have this thing called the thud factor right? How big of a thud does it make when you drop it on the desk? The greater the thud factor, the greater you you can charge for it. Those are all examples of physical mass and how people have, have gotten their head around this idea that by creating physical mass, I'm creating something that's more valuable. But if you try to sell me a product that has greater physical mass, a thicker book, for example, um, I might not, it, it might not matter. It might be lost on me because I read all of my books on here, right? So this idea of creating greater physical mass around the product 
sometimes that can be beneficial, but in the long run, you know, you always get down to the little itty bitty teeny tiny little thing, right? So like for me, and in fact, it's gotten so bad with breakfast cereal, they put on the box and chips. This is why they put on the packaging for cereal and chips, right? That, that it's sold by weight, not by volume. Some settling will occur, and right? Because people open it up like, you know, a box is only half full of cereal, right? Great big box, little bitty container. All right. So if we're not talking about physical mass, what are we talking about? We're talking about value mass. Right, You need to create greater value mass around your product. Make sure that it has an extreme amount of value associated with it. Now, always bear in mind, who determines the value of your product? Just jot that down in the comment. Yes, Cliff nailed it today. The customer does. The customer determines whether your product is valuable or not. Not you. All right. So as we are talking about adding more value mass to the product, you have to make sure that the customer interprets the, the value that you're adding as valuable to them. I can add, for example, I can do a, I can do a webinar. And for the webinar, I can include a PDF download, a copy of a book, a um, a thumb drive with a bunch of stuff on it. I mean, I can just pile and pile and pile stuff on there. But if none of that is deemed valuable by you, then me piling it on is not adding mass, value mass to the product. It's just adding noise to the conversation. Okay. So all of this ultimately boils down to really understanding who your target customer is, what they deem valuable, and then delivering on that value. Now, don't, and, and we're, we're going to run way over time here if I get into this, but don't worry about giving away the farm. You're not. You have way more value that you can give than you can give away uh, in one product. And I can show you how to do that if you have any questions about that. All right. So, so to increase, to, to increase the gravity of your product, you have to increase the value mass of your product. You do that by understanding your customer <clears throat> and adding, um, elements to your product that your customer is going to deem value. So here's your homework going away for today. Here's what I want you to do as you go through and you touch, you think about each one of your products or services, ask yourself, what's one piece of additional value that I can add to this product? Doesn't have to be big. Doesn't have to be expensive. In fact, most of them are not very expensive, but as Joe points out, the perceived value of them can be, far greater than the actual cost. So as you touch or think about each one of your products or services today, I want you to think what's one piece of value as determined by the customer. What's one piece of value that I can add to this to make it more appealing to the customer, to increase the gravity for the customer. If you have found any value at all in our conversation today, I personally would appreciate it very much. If, if you would like and share this video with your network. And in fact, if you know three or four people that could, that could benefit from it specifically, and you have just a moment to share, send them a message one-on-one -on -one and share it with them individually, rather than just broadcasting it out to your whole network. We want to make sure that this gets in the hands of the right people, not just every people. All right. That's going to be it for today. Coffee shop shows coming up. Uh, later this morning, about nine o'clock, I believe. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes, but uh, be sure and tune in for that. You can find that right here as well. Uh, let's see what else or coffee shop show.com coffee shop show.com gets you the right place. Oh yes. One last thing. Remember the, uh, coffee and coaching sessions start tomorrow. The first one is tomorrow. Uh, that session is about customers and money, how to find more customers and make more money. 
is a breakfast session. It is here in the Huntsville area. So if you're in the area and you'd like to join us, today is the day to sign up. Registrations end at the end of the day today, so be sure and do that today. Go to coffeeandcoaching.us, <clears throat> coffeeandcoaching.us to register and reserve your seat for that. All right, that's it. I'll be back again in the morning, probably all dressed up for a... Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Need more coffee for another installment of seven minutes in the morning. Ah, until then, you guys have a great Wednesday. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>